Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the Ninjago Dragons Rise and Comic Con panel that just occurred yesterday as of the time of recording this video. This panel took place early in the morning yesterday and they announced a bunch of new stuff for Ninjago Dragons Rising. On the panel, there was Doc Wyatt and Kevin Burke, the lead writers of Ninjago Dragons Rising, as well as a few Ninjago Dragons Rising voice actors. Now, I was not in attendance myself at this panel, but a lot of Ninjago fans were and thanks to the Brick fan over on Twitter, we have a lot of information coming out of this panel and a lot of it relates to the future of Ninjago Dragons Rising. And I've already done a couple of videos talking about the major announcements, but in today's video we are going to be talking about everything. This includes a lot of official announcements and of course fan questions during the Q&A section. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about everything that was revealed at the Ninjago Dragons Rising Comic Con panel. The first announcement being the release date for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 2, which according to to the panel is officially going to be October 12th, 2023. I assume this is going to be the launch date for Netflix as well, and honestly I'm not so sure why everyone is up in arms over this release date. I mean honestly it does kind of make sense, especially compared to last year with Ninjago Crystallized, and the fact that we had part 1 in May, part 2 in October, and for this year for Dragons Rising we had part 1 in June and part 2 in October. It's the same thing more or less, so I'm not sure why people are so upset about this, a lot of people are saying that's way too late. I kind of disagree, I think October is the perfect time to release Dragons Rising Part 2, because like I said, it falls in line with what we saw last year, and it just makes sense to have this big of a gap in between Parts 1 and 2. I think this is relatively normal. Now the next big announcement was of course the fact that Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 is going to be coming in 2024. Now Season 2 is different from Part 2, and I'll probably make another video clarifying this, but when we say Ninjago Dragons Rising Part 2, we are simply referring to Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1. One part two, because season one started with the first 10 episodes last month in June, and it will conclude with another batch of 10 episodes in October. Part one, part two, but still under the same season. Now with Dragons Rising season two, that is the start of something new altogether. That is a new season for the Ninjago Dragons Rising show. Remember, everything will fall under the Ninjago Dragons Rising title. There are no individual titles for individual seasons at this point. It is simply referred to as Dragons Rising season one, Dragons Rising season two, etc. Etc. And as they mentioned at the panel, Season 2 will be launching in 2024. We're not exactly sure when in 2024, but if I had to guess, I would say maybe around June, same deal with how Part 1 was being released this year. I can see a pattern forming here, and I feel like we're going to get a Part 1, Part 2 thing every single year for Ninjago at this point, making every year consist of one season. I'm not sure how that would work in terms of the Ninjago sets and their release though, so maybe they will release two seasons next year. Maybe next year we will get Season 2 and Season 3. Who's to say? All we know for sure right now is that Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 has been confirmed, and it's been confirmed for 2024. Now, apparently at the panel as well, they revealed some type of trailer or some type of new footage for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 2. Now, as of the time of recording this video, we do not have that footage officially released by LEGO outside of the Comic-Con panel. And as of the time of recording, no one has described what exactly went on in said footage. But from what I've heard from people that were at the panel, they did show some type of new clip or some type of new trailer for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 2, and allegedly it featured Cole in some way, shape, or form. Again, we can't confirm nor deny because I wasn't there, and we don't have any footage, nor do we have any descriptions of the trailer that they showed off, so all we know for sure is that maybe they showed off some type of new footage, but of course that remains to be seen officially. So moving on to some other things that we know from the panel according to the Brick fan over on Twitter, Beatrix wants revenge. That should be fairly obvious due to how her character was set up in part one and where we left her in part one as well where she got her new mech and it seems like she's going after the ninja and trying to do whatever it is that Beatrix wants to do. So it seems like part two will be very much Imperium heavy especially with Empress Beatrix. Thank goodness because part one was kind of lacking in that department. I'm very curious to see what her storyline is all about and how she really sets herself up as a major villain. We also have the announcement that the ninja team will be splitting up into three teams during part two for some unknown reason. Again, not exactly sure why this could be. A few folks on my live streams mentioned how maybe they could be going after the three distinct dragon energy cores, which we do know exist thanks to the LEGO Brawls video game, so thank you, LEGO Brawls. But essentially, the ninja team will be divided into three teams. Now, I'm not sure if they're referring to the entirety of the team, including all six of the original ninja, plus Eren and Sora, maybe even Wildfire. Not really sure who's going to be on what team either, but feel free to leave all of your predictions down below in the comments section. I will probably make another video to 
talking about this extensively later on. But I just find it interesting that the team is once again being split up, and again, who's on which team, what will the rosters look like, we have yet to see. So now moving on to the Q&A section, where Ninjago fans who attended the panel could go ahead and ask questions, any questions that they wanted. Here are some of the questions and some of the answers they received. So the first question, will we have more cameos of older characters? May we see some old friends again? The Ninjago Dragons Rising panel replied with, anything is possible with the merge. A very vague answer to say the least, but it makes sense why they would keep it so vague. They don't want to spoil who's going to be coming back. Obviously we know characters like Jay and Cole will be back, but who's to say that other side characters like Pixel or Garmadon, who's to say they can't come back? And obviously if they were to come back, I doubt they would want to spoil those returns in this Comic-Con panel, that's for sure. But it seems like with anything being possible during the merge, seems like literally anyone could show up. So all of your favorite characters may return at some point in Dragon's Rising, at some point down the line, but of course all of that remains to be seen. Somebody then asked, will we see any new mechs for Ninjago? They replied, yes, definitely, which makes sense. Mechs are kind of like a staple of Ninjago at this point, and a lot of mechs from the Dragon's Rising sets we still have not seen in the show. Part 2 will definitely show off some of those. Somebody then asked about Wildfire's Element, and they replied that Wildfire's Element is still a mystery until October 12th. And it seems like a lot of Dragon's Rising staff members as well want to keep that illusion up. They really want you to believe that Wildfire's Element is fire. It's not. It's heat an entirely different elemental power, but one that is rather similar to fire as well. Then we have a few questions about Euphrasia, the new Wind Master. How is Moro related to the new Master of Wind? The panel replies they are not directly related, which makes a lot of sense. Somebody then asks what about the power? They reply the power was loose and found a new home, which we have explained time and time again on the channel. That's just how elemental powers work in Ninjago. If an elemental master dies holding their power and they never pass it on to a descendant or to a candidate of their own choosing, the power just seeks out somebody new entirely. And in this case, Moro died holding the wind power, and the power randomly sought out Euphrasia for some reason. And finally is Ras from Chima. They know the answer, but they won't answer it, and you have to watch it to find out. So somebody at the panel did ask if Lord Ras was from Chima, and they replied with a very vague answer of, we know, but you guys just have to wait and see. Which, to me, kind of confirms it even further. I mean, come on, where else is Lord Ras from if he's not from Chima? Again, I could be entirely wrong in saying this, but I feel like this does confirm that Lord Ras is from Chima, which would make sense, and it's the theory that myself and many other Ninjago fans believe wholeheartedly. But with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That's going to pretty much do it for all of the announcements that were revealed at the Ninjago Dragons Rising Comic Con panel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. Which of these are you most looking forward to, and what reveal gets you the most excited? Leave all your thoughts down below. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.